He's got his paws in my lap. <laughs> <laughs> You've been rendered mute. <laughs> anyway, Ralph, very shortly, but uh, let's go to PK uh, with a uh, developing story in the world of sport. Let's get back to the couch with Ralph and Co. Indeed. Thank you very much, PK. Yes, he's a very special guest who, by all accounts, is very, very good at his job. Ralph here is a much-loved volunteer at Melbourne's Royal Children's Hospital and his heartwarming story has now been turned into a book. Ralph joins us now, as does his human handler, uh, Caroline Lovick. Caroline, good morning. Thank you. Thanks for having me. What a beautiful dog. <laughs> He's gorgeous. He's very cute. He just jumped up here, sat down on the couch, put his paws in my lap and he's been very happy ever since. How did he come to the Children's Hospital? A uh, little bit of a weavy journey. Right. Um, but he was accepted as one of the therapy dogs by Lord Smith and Lord Smith managed the therapy dogs at the Children's Hospital and he's been working since it was the old Children's Hospital and now the new one. And uh, it's a great story because uh, he had very much an uncertain future when very. he was a young puppy. Yeah. Tell us the story there. Yeah, he, was, he wasn't he was going to be around for much longer if he misbehaved in the manner he was do doing. He was, was a, he? a difficult dog, was he? Tough dog to have, yeah, right. tough dog to have and we took him on thinking this is going to be great and it was a lot of hard work but worthwhile and didn't realise when we started doing so much training that he was going to gradually evolve into being the amazing dog he is. What's so amazing about it? I mean, how does, how does a difficult dog with a barking problem um, turn into this docile giant who's good with kids? I think he just reads people. He's mm. amazing at reading behaviour other people He's and reading my notes at the moment. children. <laughs> Have you got food back there? I've been told yeah, that if I hold up his Mandarin, he'll have a Oh, there we go. Yeah. Something Everybody has their vice. Yes. <laughs> this is Ralph's vice. It's a good vice to have. <laughs> it is. Yes, so he reads people. He reads people. So when you're working with small children, I can kind of look at their eyes and see what's going on, but actually he reads the whole child. And how does, that, how does that show itself? He obviously helps kids who yeah. have had this very He walks serious very, very slowly walking. if yep. they're learning to walk again or curls up very still on their beds if if they're uh, does, needing a hug. Does he have free reign in the hospital? Can he just wander where he wants in a certain area? There's a couple of wards that we can't go on, mm -hmm. but yeah, pretty much. It's up to nine wards now. <laughs> Ralphie's making a move. Where do you want to go, Ralph? <laughs> Hitting yeah. off. Have a look over there. <laughs> Lots of sudden moves. No, we won't, we won't move, move too quickly for you. So he's very much part of the furniture. The furniture he's of the part of the furniture, but he's part of a very big team. There are 53 yeah. different dogs that work at the really? children's hospital. 53. Yeah, 53. So are, 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 they, are they dogs sort of in, in the children's hospital at some point all the time? There'll always be a dog. <laughs> Hopefully, we only do Mondays. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've been yeah. told. If he climbs over the couch, I. I Abdicate responsibility. Yeah. Oh, right. okay. Start peeling so it. I start peeling it. Oh, Michael, <laughs> don't do it to me. This is a beautiful story. I think this little one, who's a two-year-old, oh, had um, uh, had just undergone Zeke. an operation. Yes. Yeah. And that was the first time that the child had walked since the op was with um. Ralph. Um, he was crawling around. That was that was him starting yes. to walk with Ralph, holding on to Ralph. Uh, it was a big day. The day that it happened, yeah. that the Herald Sun took the photograph. But we were just doing our regular day, and. He took the photograph, he hit the Herald Sun, and it went viral. Mm. Well, we've never gone viral in our lives unless it's a flick. <laughs> you will now, yeah, after, I know. after these photographs. Look at that face. How old's Ralph? Um, Hard to 11, tell. nearly 12. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's an old dog. Mm. And also, I mean, many of us, and I've been seeing this on Twitter as well, um, that I never knew that schnauzers could be this big. How tall does, does Ralph stand? Um, Probably it's a metre. the size of a two-year-old. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it's, that's a tall, big, big. Dog, yeah. like a sort of like a Great Dane, but possibly even bigger. I think I always thought that was miniature. Weighs fifty-six kilos. Wow, it's a hefty. I'm not yeah. picking that dog. I'm not picking dog. you up. So where does he where does he live with with you? Does he stay on the home, grounds of the hospital? No, family pet lives right. at home with us. Um, very happy, <laughs> very busy, um, but we work on Mondays. Don't so, yeah. stop here. Oh, Michael, don't do it. <laughs> Michael, stop it. <laughs> it's very really dangerous. It's children and animals. He can't yeah, wait for cruel. <laughs> children and animals. Can't just hold no, he, back. no, he doesn't. He doesn't want to eat it. Okay. Yeah, give him at the end. Um, at the end okay. And uh, I know that we're heading into oh, the Easter. He's licking his lips. See? Come on. We're heading into Easter. Um, and the Good and Friday that, appeal. The Good Friday appeal, exactly. Yeah. Well, so. we've the, the book. Okay. I agreed to have the book written by Alan Dunwin, who've done a beautiful job yep. uh, of Ralph's biography. Um, as long as the, the royalties went to the Royal Children's Hospital and Lord Smith. And it's just, it's fantastic. So I can do this with guilt-free. 
Oh, I think this dog's going to climb over me now because of what I know, and badly Michael's behaved presenters. How good is he that he isn't climbing over? Oh, look, he's good. He's much better behaved than Michael. So how many, how many mandarins would he eat? Uh, oh, no, you can, small children will just keep going. Oh, right. Just keep eating them. Oh, that's fantastic. And it doesn't upset his tummy or anything like that? No, no, no. 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 Big You're tummy. A, you are an amazing dog. So. Does Ralphie shake paws? Shake no, no, no okay. but he can lie in beds in ICU. So. Oh, that's great. <laughs> well, that's probably the best skill of all. Hey, it's um, lovely meeting you, Ralph, and uh, lovely meeting you as well, Thank Caroline. Thank you so much for um, having we us. We wish you all the best with the fundraising because the hospital does fantastic work. So thanks so much. It's wonderful. And nice to meet such a beautiful dog. Don't you feel happier and just more oh, well being much in Ralph's happier. presence? Yeah, yeah. I mean, especially in the morning when there's so much bad news around. <laughs> exactly. It's just great to have Ralph. Ralph, um, stay there. Shall hey, I give you the piece of... No, you can do it. <laughs> will, he, will he eat it? He'll actually eat the mandarin? There you go. Have you, ever, have you ever seen a dog <laughs> eating mandarin in your life? Now, you know, there's a lot of sugar in that fruit. You can for yourself. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you. That's the end of Ralph. One more. <laughs> One more. Oh, so gentle. Beautiful thing. Gorgeous thing. Um, shall I move on and try and read this with the dog in my lap? Yes, go on then. See how we go. The federal government is... To, do you want to read this, Ralph? There you go. The federal government is to appoint a children's commissioner with the power to crack down on cyber bullies. The commissioner will be able to investigate complaints and force social media sites to take action. What do you think of that? Yeah, you might uh, realise that Paul Fletcher, the parliamentary secretary to the communications minister, says it's a very important development.